Hey everyone, today we are going to build a single select drop down in Figma using variables. Variables allows us to create, store, and use reusable values throughout Figma like colors, text strings, padding, visibility, and more. In today's video, we are going to use variables to make the single select drop down dynamic. So, whenever a user selects an item from the drop down, the value will be updated in the input box. We can start by creating the component. We will create a text layer for the placeholder text and then apply auto layout. Let's add a drop down icon. I will use the scale tool to adjust the size of the icon from 32 pixels to 24 pixels. You can press the button K for the scale tool in Mac. We have the input box for the drop down. We can copy it and start creating the drop down menu. Now we have four drop down items. Let's change the drop down values. We can now group using auto layout and adjust the spacing a little bit. I am going to rename the layers for clarity. Okay, now let us start creating the required variables. First, I am going to create a string variable called text to store the drop down value. The initial value is set to select size. Next, I will create a boolean variable to control the visibility of the drop down menu. I am going to link the string variable we created to this layer. Ok, now we can create on click actions for each drop down items. When a user clicks on a drop down item, we will set the variable text to 32 and when a value is selected, we can hide the drop down. For that, we will set the value of short drop down to false. We will repeat the procedure for all drop down items. For that, I am just going to duplicate the first item. Now I am going to add a clear button. The clear button should reset the value of the drop down to the initial state. So we have added the UI. Now we can add a new boolean variable called show clear button. This variable is, is used to control the visibility of the clear button. I will just update the names of the layers for better clarity before we add the interactions. We can start adding the interactions for the clear button. When a user clicks on the clear button, we will set the variable text to select size. When any of the drop down item is clicked, we will set the value of the show clear button to true. I will repeat the procedure for all other drop down items. Okay, that is done. We can test the prototype. 
you can see that it is working when we click on the clear button the value of the input box is getting reset but we should uh, hide the clear button for that we need to add an additional action when the button is clicked we will set the value of show clear button to false yeah this should do now let's check the prototype again okay now it's working yeah i think that's all for today's video thanks again for watching and if you find any value in the content please consider subscribing to the channel see you in the next video bye